It's Winnie's Day, and this is from Walt Disney's Winnie the Pooh storybook collection, Bounce With Me. One day, Tigger was in a hurry to reach one of his favorite bouncing spots. He was too impatient to bounce all the way to the bridge and then bounce across it. Instead, he just bounced right over the stream. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo, he cried. I just invented a new game, a superific one. Which isn't all that surprising, since inventing games is what Tiggers do best. Tigger couldn't wait to tell his friends about his game. He bounced across the stream and landed on Eeyore's house. Guess what, Tigger said. I just invented a new bouncing game. It's called, uh... He paused to think. Take your time, Eeyore said with a sigh. I wasn't doing anything important anyway. It's called Bounce Over the Brook, Tigger finished at last. Bob, for short. I'm the best Bob player ever, Tigger went on. Bet you can't beat me. I bet you're right, Eeyore agreed gloomily. I'm not much of a bouncer. Just give it a try. One little bounce? Eeyore tried to bounce, but his feet hardly left the ground. That's what you call a bounce? Tigger exclaimed. Clearly bouncing is not what Eeyores do best. Eeyore sighed again. Told you so. Since Eeyore couldn't play with him, Tigger bounced over to Pooh's house. Pooh and Piglet were there, sharing some honey. Hello, Tigger cried, bouncing Pooh right off his feet and a honey pot right onto Piglet's head. Hello, Tigger, Pooh said. Care for a smackerel of honey? Tiggers do not like honey, Tigger said, but they do like playing Bob. Bob? Piglet said, confused. Who's that? It's not a who, it's a what. Come on, I'll show you. Tigger bounced off without waiting for a reply. Pooh and Piglet followed Tigger to the stream, where Tigger explained his new game. You just bounce over, like this, he demonstrated ten or eleven times. Give it a try, Pooh boy. Pooh had never really bounced before, but Tigger made it look like fun. Pooh bent his knees, he swung his arms, he pushed off. Splash! Pooh sat up. He hadn't made it across the stream. He was in the stream, feeling like a soggy bear of great dampness. Bouncing is not what Pooh Bears do best, Tigger declared. Eventually, Tigger ended up at Kanga's house, hoping to find Rue. Kanga was home baking a cake. I'm sorry, dear, but Rue is out playing in the wood, Kanga said kindly. I'm not sure when he'll be back, but you can come in and help me bake my cake if you like. Tigger was excited to help, but when he accidentally bounced Kanga's batter right off the table, a thought occurred to him. His bouncing was something his friends did not like at all. Tigger left Kanga's house and bounced toward the stream, but his bounces kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Finally, they weren't really bounces at all. What was the point? None of his friends even liked his bouncing. 
It was no wonder Tigger couldn't find anyone to play Bob with him. A game's not much fun if you've got nobody to play with, Tigger muttered. Feeling lonely is not what Piggers do best. Suddenly, Tigger heard laughter coming from just ahead. I recognize that laugh, Tigger said. He bounced toward the sound and soon spotted Rue. Hi, Tigger, Rue said. Hi, little buddy, Tigger said. Want to do some bouncing? I just invented a great new game. Tigger and Rue bounced to the stream and Tigger showed Rue how to play Bob. This is great, Rue cried as he and Tigger bounced from one side of the stream to the other. Look at me, Tigger. Whee! Hoo 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 hoo, Tigger cried. Playing Bob is what Tiggers and Rues do best. It was true. Tigger had finally found the perfect friend to bounce with him. Meanwhile, the friends met to discuss Tigger. I think Bob is a splendid game for Tigger, Owl began. It does keep him away from my garden, Rabbit admitted. I'll stay much cleaner, Piglet said brightly. And I'll stay much drier, added Pooh. So it was decided. Bob was the perfect game for Tigger. Tigger was having such fun that he didn't notice his friends arriving. Suddenly, he heard clapping. That was a fine bounce, Tigger, Pooh called out. Good show, little Roo, Owl added. The rest of Tigger's friends were there as well, clapping and cheering, which made Tigger bounce higher than ever. Tigger's friends might not be very good at bouncing, but cheering on their friends, well... That was what they all did best. <laughs>